Welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So in today's video, we are going to discuss few MCQs on antibiotics. MCQs means multiple choice questions, which you may get if you are in third year, you have this topic uh, for medical microbiology and in masters, you have this topic for immunology. Okay. So what are we going to cover? So we are going to cover some basic terms which are related to antibiotic then cell wall cell membrane protein nucleic acid and enzyme okay so what are these these are how uh, in your syllabus you study antibiotics okay antibiotics which work against cell wall formation okay or antibiotics which inhibit enzymes okay so likewise you have antibiotics in your syllabus and then yes mode of action of few okay so i'm not uh, able to cover each and every question here because if I do so this video will get too and too lengthy that you will get bored watching it okay so I am trying to um, give you an idea here that what kind of questions you may get likewise you can just change the antibiotic and you can think of for the same type of question okay so let's start so first question is antibiotics are used to treat infections by viruses bacteria all the microorganisms and none of the above so the answer is b that is bacteria as we use antibiotics or antibiotics to treat infections which are caused by bacteria anti or anti it refers to against okay so same terms you can find like uh, antivirals or anti Fungals. So these are the terms you can relate like fungal, antifungal. That means we, they are used to treat fungal infections and antivirals. They are used to treat viral diseases. Okay. So what is meant by antibiotic resistance? Okay. So don't get confused here. It is not our human body which is resistant to antibiotics. The bacteria are the one which are developing antibiotic resistance. Okay. So whenever you study the term antibiotic resistance, it means that the bacteria has developed antibiotic resistance. Okay. Then the term bacteriostatic means what? Substance which kills bacteria or the substance which stops the growth of bacteria or one which promotes the growth of bacteria and none of the above. So bacteriostatic means the substance will stop the growth of bacteria there is another term that is bactericidal so it is a substance which kills the bacterial cell okay so that's the difference between static and sidal bactericidal is the substance it is killing the bacterial cell and bacteriostatic is where the substance is just stopping the growth of bacteria okay so after that uh, on this slide you can see a very beautiful table where you can study classification of antibiotics with examples okay a lot of examples so you can see if the antibiotic is inhibiting the cell wall synthesis then you can see which groups are there so first is beta lactam we group those uh, all antibiotics which work against cell wall synthesis and we name them as beta lactams okay so beta lactams there are again Two subgroups you can see first is penicillins then there is cephalosporins car these are major and then there are carbapenems and monobactams okay then beta lactamase inhibitors these are the others so in these major groups you can see neutral penicillins amino penicillins then you can see penicillin is resistant okay so very very good table to study antibiotics okay so you can see if for cell wall synthesis there are beta lactams and no lactams okay then in case of protein synthesis if your bacteria is working against protein synthesis then they are grouped as 30s the one which act on 30s subunit and one which acts on 50s subunit okay so which are those for 30s there are aminoglycosides tetracyclines for 50s there are microlids okay lincosamides etc etc then if they are working against DNA uh, topoisomerase, then you have fluoroquinolones, then 
quinolones and if they are working against folic acid synthesis then you have sulfonamides then if they are working against DNA okay then you have metronidazole and mRNA synthesis you have rifampin okay so a very good type table to study so let so this is another slide where uh, you can memorize the mode of action of each of the group here okay so for beta lactams the mode of action is inhibit bacterial cell wall biosynthesis amino glycosides inhibit the synthesis of proteins then glycopeptides inhibit bacterial cell wall biosynthesis again uh, ensomycin inhibits the synthesis of rna by bacteria then Quinolones interfere with bacterial DNA replication and transcription. Okay, so likewise you can remember the different classes of antibiotics. Okay, so the one which are in red color, they act as bactericidal agents causing bacterial cell death, and the one which are in blue color, they commonly they are they act as bacteriostatic agent which restrict the growth and multiplication. Okay, so that's the difference between these different classes okay so let's move further so i hope that you are now familiar with the classes or the groups of antibiotics so let's move further so the next question is resistance to penicillin and other beta lactams is due to so if you are studying antibiotics then you also study antibiotic resistance what are the different mechanisms which bacteria have developed for getting the antibiotic resistance so in that you will study the modification of target P, PBPs then impaired penetration of drug to target PBP presence of an efflux pump inactivation of antibiotics by beta lactamase okay all are these uh, what we can say mechanisms which bacteria have developed for gaining the resistance to penicillin so yes answer is all of the above the next which of the following is second generation cephalosporin so this is actually uh, msc students you can get this and mainly for your entrances because uh, in detail remembering all the names of first generation second generation third generation cephalosporins uh, i don't know how much it is there in each and every one of syllabus of you all so it depends how much in detail you have this topic depending on that you will get this type of question that which of the following is second generation cephalosporin which of the following is fifth generation cephalosporin etc because there are too many names and they are confusing then which of the following antibiotic inhibits protein synthesis so streptomycin trimethoprim uh, bacitracin and nalidixic acid so the one which inhibits protein synthesis is streptomycin next is rifampicin yeah so a very important point to remember about about rifampicin or rifamycin is it is a widely used antibiotic for treating mycobacterial diseases okay so I will not read all these options because yes the answer is bactericidal for mycobacteria that's it you have to remember this for rifampicin okay and yes you may get a short note on this as well because it is one which is um, I guess included in both third year and in masters as well okay so it is a very important antibiotic and you should study you should remember the mode of action and write a good short note on it then which of the following is considered to be bacteriostatic so penicillin chloramphenicol ciprofloxacin cefoxetin tropamycin so the answer is chloramphenicol is bacteriostatic which of the following inhibits dna gyrase penicillin trimethoprim chloramphenicol ciprofloxacin or gentamicin so answer is ciprofloxacin is one which inhibits DNA guidance. Now, a very common question which you get for beta lactam group of antibiotic that is lactamase is the enzyme which inhibits, oh, sorry, not inhibits, it which inactivates the beta lactams. Okay, so lactamase, the enzyme, breaks the following bond and makes penicillin inactive. 
सो कार्बन 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 हाइड्रोजन कार्बन नाइट्रोजन कार्बन ऑक्सीजन और ऑक्सीजन हाइड्रोजन विच ऑफ दीज बॉन्ड इज वन विच इज ब्रोकन डाउन बाय द बीटल एक्टमीज इन जेड सो इट इज यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज द वन दैट इज कार्बन नाइट्रोजन ओके सो दिस इज द मोड ऑफ और सॉरी साइट ऑफ एक्शन फॉर बीटल एक्टमीज विच इन एक्टिवेट द ड्रग ओके और एंटीबायोटिक then which of the following antibiotic prevents bacterial transcription by directly binding to the bacterial rna polymerase so that is rifamycin or rifampicin that is the mode of action of rifamycin okay it uh, prevents the bacterial transcription by directly binding to the rna polymerase okay then the antibiotic that prevents peptidoglycan synthesis by blocking the transport of peptidoglycan monomer is cefamycin cephalosporin bacitracin or vancomycin so again mode of action of bacitracin okay the answer is bacitracin as it prevents peptidoglycan synthesis okay next so which of the following antibiotic acts as enzyme inhibitor so the options are ampicillin cephalosporin trimethoprim metronidazole so no for ampicillin cephalosporin as they are beta lactams and they work against cell wall biosynthesis and metronidazole against dna damage so option that remains is trimethoprim so which of the following antibiotic inhibits cell membrane synthesis streptomycin penicillin rifampicin polymyxine so yes the answer is polymyxine okay then which of the following antibiotic inhibits the cell wall synthesis beta lactams streptomycin quinolones none of the above so the answer is beta lactams they are the one which inhibit cell wall synthesis. okay so next question is mode of action of polymyxine is so what i want to tell you here is the same type of questions are going to come again and again like what is the mode of action of penicillin what is mode of action of uh, cefoxetin what is mode of action of polymyxin etc etc okay so you need to memorize mode of action of each and every class of antibiotic and uh, examples of those so you can easily solve these kind of questions or vice versa you may get mode of action as a question and you need to find out which of the class of antibiotics uh, has that particular mode of action okay so here the mode of action of polymyxin is it disrupts the structure of cm that is cell membrane phospholipids and increases the permeability then next all of the following drugs are inhibitors of bacterial cell wall synthesis except so if you know which are the uh, antibiotics or drugs which inhibit bacterial cell wall synthesis then you can find out the odd or man out okay so rifamycin is one which deals with the rna polymerase right so it is the odd man out here then all of the following are protein synthesis inhibitors which binds to the 50s ribosomal unit and blocks the protein synthesis except now here also you need to know which are the one which uh, blocks the protein synthesis so yes for chloramphenicol clindamycin yes it blocks the protein synthesis and even erythromycin so which one is odd man out it is streptomycin so that is how you can figure out the, your answers from multiple choice questions and you can score good okay now few questions which you may get in uh, competitive exams okay so which of the following antibiotic is used commonly used to treat mrsa infections that is methicillin resistance staphylococcus aureus infection so vancomycin is antibiotic which is commonly used to treat mrsa then which of the following antibiotic is commonly used to treat respiratory infections so amoxicillin is used to treat respiratory infections then which of the following is potential side effect of antibiotics so the side effect is diarrhea why because antibiotics they kill um, the gut microbes also and it leads to uh, imbalance in our digestive system or the digestion is not proper and that's the reason why 
the side effect that is diarrhea is seen as most common side effect in the patients then which of the following antibiotic is commonly used to treat acne so this is very common and basic question when you learn about antibiotics this these are the few questions that you should learn and remember because you will get these questions say in your exams at college level and also in some competitive exams so erythromycin is one which is used to treat acne commonly and then last which of the following antibiotic is commonly used to treat urinary tract infection so that is ciprofloxacin okay ciprofloxacin is commonly used for uti infections so i hope this video is useful to you thank you for watching do like my video give, th give a thumbs up do share my videos with your friends do subscribe to my channel and yes you can comment down some topics which you find difficult finding some uh, concept difficult you don't have any material on that so you can comment those kind of topics in comment box i will try to upload a video on that okay thank you